Well, we start our 10th day of our 28 day challenge a little bit panicked. Shiny went to bed without having a smoke last night, so she's woken up a little bit earlier than the alarm. We're at 5.30 in the morning, but let's just have a cigarette, calm her down. And I'm going to cook something before we head on out. I want to start raiding some of the sheds that are close by to the farm. Let's just have a cigarette. And I'm going to make some food up as well this morning. We'll make a pot of something. And I guess we'll use up. I think we've got a pork chop here to use up. So we'll use that. Make some pasta. So the water is also running low. And that's about to switch off. I'm pretty sure the TV is going to be going down soon as well. We've got no more water left in that sink. Let's see if we can get something out of this one. Smash window. There we go. Where are we? Is there nothing in that one as well? Okay, water is definitely going to be a thing that we'll have to start worrying about. Might be on the toilet water at this rate. No, there we go. We can fill this and fill up our water bottle as well but just make a big pot of pasta up get well fed before we go out on a bit of a scavenging run and it looks like the TV is on I'm just gonna leave it on don't know if it's just an advert today it will be going down soon though uh, so just need a knife in our inventory so we can chop something up and we're going to chop up that pork chop make some sort of stew as far as i can tell i think it's just an advert on the tv i think we're in range of the tv oh no it is a cooking show okay let's just add some kidney beans our boredom's going down so we are reaching the tv from here we are still getting experience for this just grab what XP we can. May as well take advantage of the TV while it's still on, but I think it's going to be coming to an end pretty soon. Uh, what else can we add to this? We'll add some wine. Stick this on to cook. That should do it, really. Yeah, I don't think I can add anything else, really. Let's just stick this in the cooker. And of course, electricity is going to be going off soon as well. We can make a campfire, but we want to be able to sort that out and electricity is going to be a problem pretty soon. Okay. Let's just eat half of that. Now it's cooked and we've got half when we come back and that should take away... There we go, our debuff. We're well fed. Ready to go out on a scavenging run now. With projects on board, you've got to take a lot of time to worry about them little moodits on the side there. They really do affect you. And I'm going to put this knife away. Okay, let's head on out. Now, I just want to head sort of south of this position here. Close the door quick. And there's a few sheds that we kind of cleared out a few zombies from around them. Let's get rid of that map. And Sometimes you can find a generator in these sheds, so I'm going to head on back to where we was. Hopefully we come across something. And let's just run down here a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any zombies around here. Of course, oh, there. <laughs> I spoke too soon. There's a couple of stragglers from the helicopter event. Let's choose this crowbar. Come here. There we go. Is there any more? We're all clear. Oh. A couple in the woods that I need to be careful of. Have just switched to using the crowbar, so need to get some experience with the long blunt weapon. And just going to take it slow. Some more XP. 
Nice. I'm going to be careful in the woods here. Probably dragged a few over that can come out and get us. There we go, there's one there. Let's get into a better position here. Jacket. I'm just going to check them for any watches. Just carry on to this clearing. Looks reasonably safe. Yeah, here we go. So far, so good. Can't see anything just yet. So this is the CDA Challenge house. I've already raided this one. As you can see, there's a, some dead bodies just here. And I just want to pop across this fence because there's a few sheds on this side. Oh, okay. See, I thought I'd cleared them out, but there's still more. They do kind of switch positions all the time. Not that confident about going towards the fence to take them out. Here's an update so they can sort of just grab you from the fence and I know there's an art to it but I think well we've got permadeath on and I do want to get to the end of the 28 days so I think I'm just being a little bit more careful than I usually am with my gameplay. Just want to keep an eye on your surroundings. Nice. So I just want to head in this sort of westerly direction towards a few sheds. Not sure, I think I might have cleaned that house out as well. There's a gas cooker there as well. I could gra grab that. When the electric goes out gas cooker is an option. It's quite a bit to carry. Oh. I say I'm always a little bit careful when they go over the fence. So generally speaking it used to be a free headshot when they fell over but now they can kind of just stretch out and grab you. And I haven't really got a knack for getting into the correct position to whack them so I think Project Zomboid is one of the few games that I enjoy that has permadeath on it. When you die, that's it. I mean, you start again, but the time has passed on. And of course, that new survivor could head on up to the farm. We'd have all the books and stuff that we'd gathered so far, but they would be starting off with zero XP back to square one. And Shiny, of course just be a zombie she'd still have all of the stuff on her so I'm just being extra careful in this playthrough because I do want to make it through the 28 days just grab that watch just so I can really show you guys what this game is all about really can't see anything in here but let's check this window out. It's these little sheds that you can often stumble across a generator. I've already cleared one end area of the town out and we haven't come across one yet. I have however come across the magazine that allows us to hook a generator up. So there's a couple more this side. Now just over there is a little patch of farmland. That was where I was planning to head. There we go. And another watch. Just collecting the watches because once I've read that electronics magazine, we'll dismantle them all and it'll give us a, well, a fair amount of XP to get started. So this is the house I was planning to get to today and try and clear out because that little patch of land there has got some food that we can harvest. And that'll get our farming up a little bit and... 
pretty much just use that last pork chop up. So we could do with some fresh food. Nothing on you. Do want to be careful not to get any blood over any of that food as well and contaminate it. And I think we'd know it. there's quite a few of them coming. Yeah, I think I'm just going to come this way because I don't want to contaminate all of that food. Again. This could be dodgy. I don't know what's behind me, so... You're always backing up, but you need to watch your back and... Well, what do you know? Yeah, <laughs> a big group of them. Uh, okay. I think we're going to have to do a pretty big loop. I want to get back to that house and raid that garden, but yeah, there's just far too many of them around in little clumps here. Let's see if I can lead them away. So we're back at the warehouse just here, and as you can see, they've kind of migrated back to the warehouse now. When I was able to wet raid that area, it was a lot cleaner than this. Let's just stop here, are they still following me? This is probably not a great idea. We need something to drink. And yeah, there's too many to deal with here. Okay. Okay, well, that raid was a little bit of a bust. We didn't manage to come back from with anything useful, but let's just fill up this bottle. I may have actually brought a few zombies over to the base, so I'm just going to get some rest. I'll just sit down here. A bit drowsy as well because we was up early this morning. And... Yeah, let's just chill out for a sec. Oh, I can hear him banging on the front, so I did drag some zombies over towards our base. Seems like quite a few of them. Come on, you lot. Just gonna actually bring them a little bit closer to this rotten pile. Okay, a threefer. They're all kind of sat on each other here, so they can't get up as long as I'm standing on that first one. As you can see, we've got all of these moods on us, and it is affecting our ability to be able to take them out quickly. Did we bring any more? Yeah, we bought quite a few. Okay, well, a little bit at a time, we'll just thin out this pack. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. And a couple more. This one's got a Rick Grimes hat. Oh. Just needed to push that one away. As long as he stood on that one on the floor, we're all good. Yeah, it's taking quite a few hits at the moment. Just one more. There we go. Okay. Well, not much I can do. I think we'll head back, get some rest, cook up some food. And try that again tomorrow. Looks like we've got an alarm going off here. Somebody's got a watch on them. This one. All right. Uh, yeah, it's this red watch. Okay, let's just stop that. And we'll take the alarm. Let's like say I've got a big stack of watches and we can dismantle them all. I'm going to raid some books. We'll finish off that pasta that we made. And just use the rest of the evening to read one of our books.
I'll just eat a quarter of that. I think we've got some breakfast as well. Shut that in the fridge. And let's just shove some of these watches away. So we're getting a, a fair stack of them together. They're worth keeping. They are worth keeping. Just want to check. One of them's got an alarm set. I did switch it off, but let's just make sure we've got it turned off. Okay. Keeping all of these to one side will give us a little bit of a boost. What do we need to read? Um, let's just check out our skills. What do we need a boost on? Um, yeah, I guess we'll do electronics volume one. Now we're starting to get a stack of them watches together. I want to make sure we've read all of this book before we dismantle them so we can take advantage of all the XP that we'll get back from it. Reading these books gives you an XP boost. Well, day 10 was a bit of a write-off. We didn't manage to bring anything useful back to base, but let's get a good night's sleep, and I've managed to finish off that electronics book, so it's not a complete bust. Well, Shiny managed to sleep until mid-afternoon, but she is well rested up this time, and... I think plan is just to head back to where we was yesterday and finish off clearing out them zombies. Perhaps I managed to drag a few of them away and I do want to get, at the very least, go and raid that veg garden so we can bring some food back. So we're getting quite late so I want to take something, I'm going to take this cereal with us because it's pretty nutritious and it's very light as well, so we'll eat that. Okay. Let's just head back through the forest. Try and get back to that garden. I keep getting overweight, so I'm going to put this saw and this spanner away. Some of these things we've got in our inventory we don't need to have out. Shove that cereal away as well. Okay, just a couple so far, take it slow, hopefully not going to be too far away from levelling up this crowbar, or the long blunt weapon, it's generally my weapon of choice. Okay, so we've got a clump over here that we need to take care of. That's another two, three, four, okay. Just check if they've got any watches on them. Oh, there's another four. And that's the fourth. Oh, just a normal watch on that one. Couple more just over here. I'm going to get rid of them. And the house I want to get to is just on the other side of that fence. Okay. Oh, watch. We will grab. So what it's looking like now. So this is the house that's burnt down that had the fire truck in. Now I'm hoping I managed to drag a few of them clumps up towards the warehouse and away from this area. So let's just slowly take care of this lot. A little bit at a time. Say so I'm still not very confident about getting them as they go over the fence because every time I do it they go out and grab us. Putting a fence between you and the zombie can generally sh slow them down. 
Nice work, Shiny. Couple more next to the garage to take care of. Here they come. Can't see any in that direction. But a little bit at a time, that's the key. So look, there you go. Let's try that again. And, <laughs> see that always happens. I think I just come at it at the wrong angle. But, sometimes they can scratch you and even a scratch can kill you in this game. You can get infected, so... Just not confident enough to take them out at the fence. One sat down here, can hear something banging on the garage. Bit of time. Need to watch my back on this angle. Yeah, looks like a few of them in the house here. Hey, and a point in the long blunt, finally. And some cigarettes. It's actually the lighter that I need. I don't know zombies carrying cigarettes without any lighters. Oh, and there's that clump up there. Okay. Just gonna slowly thin them out. Oh, just coming out of nowhere. As long as they keep coming at us slowly, I'm alright with this. Just keep on breaking them up a little bit at a time. There's so many of them. Okay. Again, yeah, just checking all the bodies, see if they've got anything useful on them. I'm hoping that this area is worth fighting for. I mean, at the very least, I know there is that garden and we can harvest some food, so... Ooh. Almost. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back up and use this fence. Really easy just to get a little bit too confident. And Shiny is getting tired. She's done well, she's taken out quite a few. I know if I'm backing off in this direction, I've cleared out behind me, so I should, in theory, be okay and not get any surprises. to PPK with a magazine. It's James Bond's weapon of choice. Walter PPK. 7.65 mil with a delivery like a brick through a plate glass window. Well, at least up until tomorrow never dies when I think Pierce Brosnan switches it out for the P99. With Daniel Craig carrying on with a different variant and a higher caliber. Just rest up before we continue thinning out this horde. How are we looking? So it's a few round that side. Uh, a few more than I expected, okay. Let's just come around the back here. Try and break up the pack, see if a few of them end up hitting that garage. Been slow and methodical about doing this so far, there's no point in rushing it at the end. Okay, so there's that group over there. Oh, they just keep coming. I want to try and keep away from them groups over there. I know there's one banging on the garage, but I don't think it's interested in us. Let's have a look. 
Oh, it looks pretty empty. Yeah, through the window. It's locked. Okay, well, I could smash it, but it's likely going to bring a load of zombies over towards us. Can we get in the fire truck? It'd be a useful vehicle to have. That's the other thing. I've left our minivan down at the east garage. It's quite a way away from us here. Um, well, let's just check out this burnt building. Might as well see if we can get any food out of it. Can't see anything. Grab some water. Fill up our empty bottle. And... Oh, a little bit of beef jerky. Still got that cereal on us as well. So there's a couple in the garden back there. I'm just going to sit down for a sec, get some energy. Okay, well, as soon as I stand up, we're tired again. Okay, let's just use the fence. It's this last little group that we need to get rid of. Yeah, that one tried to grab us. Just be careful about this. So Shiny is pretty tired. Taking more hits to take down the zombies now. Any more? Just the one more? There we go. Okay, a generator. Fantastic. Well, it definitely was worth fighting for. Now, what we'll do is we'll fill up our bag see if we can grab these tomatoes. They're not all fully grown. But we will get some farming XP for harvesting this stuff. And we'll get a load of seeds back. The more farming skill you have, the more seeds you get back. And we may as well just fill up our bag with what we can get here. Quite a lot. There we go. Plenty of carrots, plenty of seeds as well we can plant. And I'll grab them tomatoes as well. So that's a good haul. But finding that generator is definitely a bonus. So it was worth taking a couple of days just to fight out this area. We got lucky. I'll harvest what crops we can here. There we go. Level in farming, so now when we harvest our own food, we'll be getting back some more seeds and we'll have more stuff to grow. Fantastic. Well, I'm definitely overweight. And if we take this generator, uh, we're going to be really overweight. So I'm going to carry it at least into the middle of the field because... If we come back and grab this tomorrow, chances are all of them zombies have moved back over this way towards the houses. They're less likely to be in the middle of a field. So let's just slowly take it away from this area. Oh, and Shiny's fallen over and hurt herself. Uh, just a slight damage. It's because we're overweight with all of this food we're carrying. Now, this could prove to be a bad idea because... We get exhausted pretty quickly carrying that generator. Just take care of this one. But chances are if I leave it there, then all of them groups that were across the road are going to move towards this house and we'll be fighting it out again just the same tomorrow. So at least if I bring the generator a little bit closer to base, we can pick it up a little bit easier say hordes are more attracted to buildings than just open fields unless you give them a reason to come into the open field 
Okay, let's just put that down there. One more just wandered over here. It is getting pretty late. It's got something sticking out of it, like a screwdriver or something. Not sure what it is. But yeah, you can see Shiny's pretty exhausted now. We're carrying too much and the generator as well. Just going to carry it a little bit further. Okay, right, I think I've risked it enough. There's another zombie over there. I'm going to drop the generator there. It'll be much easier to pick it up next time. Just get away from these zombies. Okay, well, it's pretty late, but we've managed to make it back to the farm. And that wasn't a bad hole. We've got all of this food. And of course, that generator is means that we can keep the power on. So our chances of survival has just gone up by quite a few percent here. It was definitely worth fighting our ground for. And the Waltz of PK. I'll just stick the magazine in that. Put that on the table. Not really much use as a pistol, but it will be used for loading and unloading and just practicing firearms I'm just going to put it down on this table I'm going to stack up all of the firearms we come across here to make sure we face it away from us <laughs> but I think that pretty much covers it for another episode of 28 days later complete project zomboid we'll have a quick smoke before we go to bed but now that we've come across that generator things are definitely looking up for shiny B and I'm sure the power is going to be going off soon but that means we're going to be able to keep stuff refrigerated let's have one of them tomatoes that we got from the farm or that little vegetable patch and yeah I'm pretty happy with that I knew that we was bound to stumble across then I had a couple of options for somewhere else we could have a look for a generator but I'd already cleared sort of southeast of this position I was pretty confident that we might find something around there. And what do you know? So let's grab some sleep. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.